Hey guys, what's going on? It is Taffy here, and we are playing a new game in the White Knuckle series, which I guarantee is going to be a, a, a good entry for making the anus pucker, the rectum shrink, and the knuckles whiten. Uh, today we are playing, and will continue to play for quite some time, I'm sure. Sir, you are being hunted, a game that comes to us from Big Robot. Uh, a company that has it in its alpha, which is uh, makes it available for all to play uh, in, in 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 the Steam store. So it's uh, I believe it's 19.99. Uh, I'm just gonna randomize these here a little bit. Uh, yeah, sure, that goes. Uh, so um, ultimately, uh, as far as I can tell, there are five islands uh, which get different biomes. You, I'm not really sure beyond uh, the the original uh, explanation that we get from a sort of a disembodied uh, sort of uh, Portal 2 style British voice lets us know that we need to uh, gather fragments of, a, of some sort of meteorite or machine uh, all the while being hunted by mustachioed Victorian era steampunk robots. Uh, so this is uh, very similar to Day Z. Uh, very similar to Day Z but with, but with kind of uh, badass British aristocracy robots. So, we are watching it generate, and we are going to jump on in, and I hate playing this game because it makes me terrified, and I know that during commentary, during live streams when I've played it, uh, I have uh, yelped like, like, a, like a scared dog that's been hit with a newspaper every time that I've been shot at by these robots, uh, especially when I was caught unawares. So, yeah, as best I can tell, I'm... I'm as always, not terrific at this game, but I'm having a blast playing it, and I, I think that after our weird sort of bait and switch with Gone Home, which was a tremendous narrative, but not very scary, ultimately more of a uh, more of a narrative-driven uh, uh, draw. Oh. Sir, if you can hear this, then the experiment has gone terribly wrong. I fear you may be trapped on the archipelago, but don't panic. The standing stones should be nearby. With them and some luck, you may still be able to escape. Listen very carefully, and you might just survive. I am afraid pieces of the device are now scattered across the islands. They became quite hot during the experiment, so perhaps you could look for the smoke. Bring any you find back to the Stamping Stones. Then we should be able to get you home. I'm dreadfully sorry, sir, but this does mean postponing dinner preparations. I do hope you remember to eat something. You must try to keep your strength up. Perhaps some tea and biscuits from one of the nearby houses? The residents won't mind because they're... Well, they're not at home. Oh, and do be careful, sir. You're being hunted. And that's how we begin our game. Uh, this uh, informs you that you can only save at stone circles and boats. Remember to hit that save button, uh, because there's a pretty decent chance that we will have our asses handed to us. I'm going to take a moment to pause this. And I am going to actually crank the volume way up, which is not something I normally do uh, because I don't like to yell over stuff, but I need to be able to hear. Uh, and I will get totally messed up in this game if I can't hear what's going on around me. Uh, you can find useful items on many objects in the world. Fallen robots like this chap often carry loot, but you will also find things hidden in the doors of buildings, sheds, or even at the bottom of dustbins. Uh, a hand icon will appear uh, when you mouse over a potential loot source or usable object. Note, you can store items inside any source with a green background. It will still be there when you come back. You cannot stash loot in red background like this chap's pockets. Alright, so he has binoculars, rags for bandages, and a canned pie. Ah, very useful. Now you can observe your pursuers while keeping a safe distance. All right, so this is a standing stone. This is where we'll, we'll save and, and the like. And here we have found the first fragment of the device. Excellent. You've found one. Return that fragment to the standing stones and leave it there. You'll be one step closer to home. 
So the game starts off kind of uh, mellow, so that you can have the opportunity to figure out what in the hell is going on. A few more of those, and we can activate the device. Um, it starts you off kind of on easy mode, and then as I can tell, uh, as you get closer and closer to having uh, accomplished things, and uh, as you get closer and closer to having more and more parts of the device uh, put together, uh, it spawns more and more robots, uh, which torment you and uh, try their damnedest to end your life. Uh, this is Tall Grass, this will be your best friend if you're deciding to play this game, because once you get down, your visibility goes to zero even when you're moving. Uh, bottom left hand corner you'll see visibility, health, and vitality. Health is like blood, uh, vitality is like hunger. Um, on the right hand side you'll see current items, and right now we have our binoculars. Um, I don't think it starts us off with anything too terribly close, so it gives us a chance to look through the buildings. Uh, which is it good. It looks like there's something useful in there. Oh, and if you find anything edible, don't look at it too closely. Alright, I don't think that those things help me. I tried eating a rat the other day and it poisoned the shit out of me, so that's not a mistake you make twice. Uh, moldy bread, sharp stone, boot, unpleasant eggs, ruined books. I don't think those help me all that much. I don't, can't believe I can't get it. Oh, I was gonna say I can't believe I can't get around or over this wall, and a large trap. That's good. I think uh, we'll take another stone. We'll take another red toadstool because you can eat those, but you trip balls afterwards. Uh, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. And um, I got all excited and I left before empty bottle, empty bottle, rags for dressing wounds. Um, so anything with a round is something that can be used as a projectile. Some uh, some things like rocks are being you can use them to fight back and throw them and wing them at robots. I have yet to disarm a robot, which does not mean it can't be done. It just means I haven't done it yet. Uh, but you you can ultimately ooh, can I use that? A weapon. Do be careful with that. I really think violence is best left to the experts. That's the first time I've picked up a weapon, like an actual weapon weapon. Ooh. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Alright, uh, let's keep looking around because I've picked up a lot of ammunition for... I've picked up a lot of ammunition for... I have no idea if I'm going to eat that uh, bread and get poisoned all to hell. Um, I've picked up ammunition for, wep or for guns, but I've... N yeah, see? But I've never picked up an actual rifle yet, so... Um... We'll get rid of a lot of this stuff if we come across uh, a, a piece of the the actual contraption and need to launch uh, a bunch of it to get you know to get uh, to get uh, to get it back because th these things can take up an awful lot of inventory space. Uh, matchbook. Oh shit! Shit! They're coming! They're coming! All right, let's see what we got. Do we have? Rabbit, uh, marmalade, marmalade, blackberries, stone. Let's get the hell out of here, I guess. Or I could try to kill a robot and take his, take his, uh... Oh, shit. Alright, let's just, we'll, we'll work our way the other direction. Oh, okay. We'll work our way the other direction. God, I'd love to find a gun. Ah, uh, whiskey. Um, flask of lukewarm tea. We'll get rid of this. Get that. Well-cured ham. Um, shoot, there's so much stuff. Uh, we'll get rid of the moldy bread. Moldy bread. Canned pie. Uh, moldy bread's not going to help us as much as... Uh, man, oh man. Alright, let's just do this a little more expeditiously. Um, come on. I'll leave the whiskey. Fine. I would love a gun. Man, would I love a gun. The wisps, as best I can tell, the wisps lead you back to, uh, the wisps lead you back to, uh, to where the standing stones are. At least that's, it's what it seems to me. Uh, yeah. So, now we're in this place where, I mean, we've got as much stuff as we can carry. Actually, we've got more stuff than we'd really need to be carrying at once. Uh, withered apple, jar of marmalade. I mean, I'll load up. I've, I've been in situations where I've had to come into treacherous conditions in order to get food, and it's not fun, so... Um, Alright, cool. That, that literally is as, almost as much as we can carry, so... 
Oh, shit. Let's get out of here. We'll go find ourselves a, uh... We'll go find ourselves a piece of the... A fragment of the machine. We're gonna get out here into the tall... Tall grass. And we'll... We'll get free and clear of the town. That, uh, like, once... Once we collect a piece of the... Of the... Of the mechanism... Of the, uh... Whatever the experimentation machine is itself... And return that... Uh, the game starts to really populate the area around uh, the villages where you have all of your supplies uh, pretty heavily with robots. So at that point, you're either uh, fighting your ass off or uh, playing basically a, a stealthy thief rogue style game. Um, it's a flag? Oh, it's a weird lighting texture. All right. Um... All right, so we're gonna see if we can find maybe a fragment out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'm actually gonna take this minute to go into my inventory, and we'll drink a flask of lukewarm tea, and that'll bring our vitality back up to 100 and free up some of this uh, inventory space that we have all jammed to hell. Um, yeah, and I mean, I guess I have a hatchet now, which I didn't have before. Like normally, when a robot has come after me, it's just meant virtually instant death if I couldn't manage to break myself free. Um, this is, like, like I said, very similar and comparable to DayZ in the fact that, uh, I mean, you sprint and run around at your own peril. Uh, you get into a lot of situations where y you get, uh, complacent or, or lackadaisical and find yourself drawing unwanted attention. The moment that you start to really, uh, relax and stop respecting the game is the moment that you find yourself in the life or death situation. Um... I'm only doing this now because it's so early in the game that I feel like I can probably get away with it. Uh, they don't usually come this far out into the countryside uh, until you've accomplished a little bit of, uh, of something, of anything, really. So, uh, we will continue kind of along our merry way here. And um, I, I, I will come to a point where I will take some risks, but uh, this early on, man, I just want to enjoy... It, it gets super, like, stealth becomes important. Um, so I just kind of want to enjoy being able to move around with, with a little bit of impunity early on while the game is allowing me to do so, because that will not last for very long. There's one of the wisps I was talking about. Unlike Daisy, you can actually swim in this water, but, uh, I have no idea if you can swim between islands. I think you can only access the other islands, the other five islands in the archipelago by boat. I have yet to go to one of those other islands. Hopefully we will get to a place where we can uh, explore and do that somewhere along the lines in this Let's Play. Uh, once again, this is uh, this game's in alpha, uh, so I wouldn't expect it to all stay exactly the same. There's some smoke. If you can see that there, uh, that means that that's a, a piece of the machine. Um, I have yet to kill a robot, uh, but then again, this is the first time that I've actually been armed with a weapon, albeit a, a freaking hatchet against uh, robots that are armed with, with uh, loaded uh, loaded weapons, like loaded guns, uh, loaded firearms. So, firearm v hatchet, uh, last I checked, uh, I'd, I'd, I had better bring my A game if I want to bring down a robot, uh, but it's on my bucket list, it's on my list of things to do before I die. I have to be careful, I don't... Unlike most of these games, like, uh, I normally feel compelled to talk the whole way through, but... This is one of those situations where... It's actually ill-advised, and every once in a while you have to stop and sort of take... You have to kind of stop and take... Oh my god. Okay, so what can we get rid of? Um... use. Alright, let's use these jars of mar marmalade. At least that'll free up a little bit of space. We're gonna have to leave some of this behind. Like, we just flat out can't take all of this with us. Uh, I'll leave some of the rocks, I guess. No, you know what? I'll re Mushrooms. Mushrooms? Can't. Oh, I have to clear out uh, four by four space. So, we'll bring this up here. This over. I want to keep the matchbook. All right, well, use, use. Um, God, we're not even close. We need this entire corner empty. Um, we're tripping balls right now. Totally fine. Kind of saw that coming. Um, we'll just get, we'll get rid of all the marmalade. I, I don't really see any way around that. And now we'll we'll reorganize things as best we can. So that comes up here. I don't want to get rid of the rocks because they're weapons, and weapons are just in such short demand. 
Um, I don't want to get rid of all my good food either. Um, we we still need to free up. God, we still need. To, all right. Uh, inventory. Can we just drop stuff? I, I hate to do it, but can we just? No. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, um. Okay. Fine. Uh. I, I didn't like to do that. I, I, I feel a great misgiving about getting rid of weapons in a game where it's th this important to have them. But, uh, I was left with few options. There. There we go. Mysterious Fragment. Now we can take that back to the stones, which I believe is marked on here Which I believe is marked on here by the circle. I have no idea if the, the... I have no idea if the birds affect I have no idea if the birds affect uh, the robots. Like I, I know that I've been in situations where I've been trying to hide, and the bird, like there have been birds that have like broken out into a full blown like. All right, so there's there's a there's a there's a helium balloon that we have to be aware of. Um, I have not angered one of those yet, and I'm not looking forward to the day that I do. But I have been in situations where oh Jesus God. Get okay, sorry. Right. Crouch. Thing is coming right at me. Um, oh Jesus, the thing's coming right at me. Um, I don't know what to do. I guess I'll just hide behind this rock. I, I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. It's going right overhead. God, I can see the shadow of the damn thing. I think those things are armed with snipers too. That, that's, uh, ammunition isn't real. Oh shit! Ammunition is in really short supply. So even if I had a gun, oh wisp! Now is not the time to screw with me like that. Looks like they're moving on. Good, 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 good. Oh, shit! Shit! Oh, that was terrifying. Get the hell out of here. Oh god. Just very quickly and quietly. Oh, come on. Just go away. I will murder you. I can hear him, but I can't. I can't see him. God, it sounds like he's getting closer. Uh. We're gonna have to murder this robot. I just uh, in this clear opening, I don't know where I could run to that I would be safe. There's no grass. There's no grass anywhere. Oh God, get away from me! I bought us some time with the bottle. Okay, good. I think we can get out of here. We'll just run the other way as fast as we can. Oh, I'm really glad it didn't come to violence. Like, normally, you know me, man. I am all about putting the smack down on some robots, but this game, man, I have been just demolished and demolished quickly. Like, that's the thing, is that I have been killed fast in this game. Oh, I'm sweating a little bit under my armpits. Let's get in this tall grass, man. Trying to get back to the the circle stones. Um, I think this is the right way. I think I don't know what the markings on the heads up display mean. I'm a little bit lost as to what those entail. Um, if 
robots were to show up now, I could crouch in the grass, and if I were to just keep moving, I would probably be okay. Uh, crouching in tall grass reduces your visibility next to next to zero, and uh, if you keep moving, they'll check the last spot that they saw you. But they'll—I don't want to say they'll give up quickly, but they'll—they'll uh, not—they'll not investigate too too terribly f uh, far, comparatively. Um, if you give them a, if give them, give them the old slip, give them the old slipperoo. Uh, here's another piece, uh, a, another fragment. It looks like, maybe. What's this? What's going on here? I know you're not used to preparing your own meals, sir, but I'm sure you can master roasting game on an open fire. That smoke can be seen for miles, however, so do be quick. Well, might as well. Oh, I, don't, I didn't bring the I didn't bring the rabbit with me. Well, in that case, no, thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't really necessarily want to bring that kind of attention down on me just to see how the matchbook uh, animation works. So let's let's continue to work our way into what I believe to be the circle stones. Um, that's cool, man. Uh, b between the hatchet and the matchbook, I now have seen two new things that I did not see the first time that I played this game. Uh, that which, which is, I knew that you could cook game, and I knew. Uh, that ultimately you could fight back and I, I've seen people play this game with like pistols and stuff And I've just not been one of those people that have been fortunate enough to find a firearm yet But I mean given time given time at some point. We'll, we'll track one down. We'll we'll uh We'll see what we can do about all that I started playing this game and I remembered that once upon a time before being completely enveloped by Minecraft that Rob uh, used to play a lot of DayZ uh, which is not something that seems to so much be the case anymore, and I don't know how I feel about that because I initially wanted to play Daisy with him, uh, but I sucked, and he got this monstrously loaded character that he kept alive for just ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And uh, sorry, just taking, stopping to take, pardon me, starting to stopping to take stock of my 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 surroundings and my inventory and whatnot. Um. So yeah, you know, I, I didn't play with him very often because I didn't want him to have to w basically wait and nurse me up. It's a wisp. I didn't want ha him to have to wait and, and nurse me up and kind of uh, wait for me to pull my shit together so that I would be worthwhile to have around. Uh, but now I'm starting to think about the fact that I, I, I do believe that I miss um, I miss having, having him play games that aren't Minecraft. Uh, at least games that aren't Minecraft that we're recording. Um, I believe the wisps... I believe the wisps are heading towards the circle stones. I hope we I hope we're close. There's a there's another piece that is being surrounded by robots. So I'll either have to distract them or eliminate them. Uh, but that said, I'm very much going to have to get rid of the piece that I have right now, and I've forgotten where the circle stones are, and I don't believe I have a map. I don't believe I have a map. I've been wrong about dumber things before. All right, we'll take the lukewarm tea. Uh, what am I? Uh, do I have a map? We have a map option, control settings, uh, crouch, screenshot, sh shotgun, dynamite, stones, binoculars, axe, revolver, and trap, fire, aim, uh, I don't see map on there anywhere, that's unfortunate. Alright, well, we'll just, uh, continue to sort of futz about and see what we can come up with here. I really would like to put this gigantic ass piece of the machinery uh, back into its rightful slot in said magical stone. I have to remind myself that that particular uh, town does not seem to be infested with robot monsters. Alright, I'm, I'm booking ass, which I normally don't do, but that's just because I really desperately want to get this thing out of my system. Oh, there's another one. God bless. So many. Sound like a car. Some of the fragments are big. Some of the fragments are the big four by four chunks. Some of the fragments are small. I've seen fragments that are as small as two pieces. Um, I don't remember exactly how many fragments are. Oh Jesus Christ! Well, here we go. That's what I get for hauling ass. We're gonna see if we can get him set, set this trap off, and then we're gonna take his ass out with that hatchet. This shit's going down. I, I can't. I heard him beep, which I think means he sighted in on me.
Come on. Come get some. Really? Really? Come on. Boy, this is either foolhardy or gonna be cool as shit, man. Are you serious? Yeah! What time is it? Taffy time, that's what time it is. That said, I'm in a shitty spot right now. Oh shit, I stood in that like an idiot. Oh no! Come on! I'm an idiot. Oh, I stood in my own damn trap. Oh, but we killed a robot, which is cool. Load from last save, which I think was the original save. That sucks. What an idiot. What an idiot Taffy is. Let's mock him openly in the comments. Oh, the trap was so perfect. I couldn't escape it myself. It was like the black hole of traps. Okay. Okay. Well, here we are back at the beginning. I guess that's probably... Ah, oh, so stupid. Uh, I guess that's probably as good a spot as any to stop. That, that just... Uh, I, I, how do I top that? I can't. So what we'll do is I guess we'll essentially start from scratch, but we'll know that... I mean, hopefully we'll, we'll go... We'll go from house to house basically as fast as we can until we find some sort of weapon because I gotta say that killing that robot was super gratifying. So uh, that's what we'll do next time. We'll start off from scratch. We'll be a little bit smarter, a little bit wiser. I thought I was skirting around the outside of that trap. I didn't realize I could spring it on myself, which makes me feel super stupid. Uh, I'm a great big dum-dum. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll, we'll go we'll go for another half hour the next time we play this. Uh, but I wanted to get it started. I felt like I've been promising like a huge cock tease. Like a huge phallic stone tease uh, that I've been promising to play this game for quite some time. And uh, I felt like I needed to deliver on that. So uh, on behalf of the Mr. Wuffles channel and the cave, thank you for tuning in. My name is Taffy and I am out.